So yeah, just here in this video, I'm just gonna show you case you guys my studs and here is Toxic, my main original boy, man. He is an OG. You guys can tell, man, that motherfucker is old, but he's still producing, y'all. He is still producing, man, but hella Ooh, badass dog, God man. damn, and, son. Uh, came from the, the primitive bullies blood up and all the way in Cali. I do have this whole pedigree, so um, yeah, really, really interested. Uh, good looking, badass dog, man. And Toxic, man, I can say. He is like the founder of where bullies come from. If you guys don't know, bullies actually come from this. So, you know, not all French Bulldog breeders come to me for, okay, for French Bulldogs. You know, they, they come to him to breed with bullies. So if you got bullies, it's a good, good addition to breed to him instead, you know, to make a bully uh, instead of doing French Bulldogs. Instead, you know, that, that's how bullies are made. And boom, here is his daughters. Hella badass too. You know, with Reaper right here. And then boom, I'm gonna show you guys Luna right here too. Muscular structure, you know, can be short back too. Nice ass headpiece and heavy ass muzzle. And I'll uh, show you guys here, man, he's really functional too. Um, you know, my dogs are fully functional. You know, they love to play with balls. Like Tox's daughter in the back. Missy as well, dude, she's hella style as well. Uh, but Tox, man, that motherfucker is quick, bro. Uh, I wish that, you know, I can fan him up a little bit more. But, you know, I, I like my, my dogs more to be of the muscular physique or with, with him in, in particular. You know, I, I like him to be a little bit more lean. You know, I can't fan him up, but, you know, sometimes it gets too hot. You know, with the fat dog, I, I don't want them to go through the heat stroke or struggling to stay in the heat for, like, at least, like, five, ten minutes. You know, they, they start wheezing already. But, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it for Tox, man. And this boy, man, he temperament, well, you know, temperament wise as well, he is really good too. Temperament, super fucking good, you know. Any any breeder or that's that anybody that's bought from me for his sons or done breeding with me, he's got the best fucking temperament ever, you know, with the dog. And I'm, I, I ain't capping with that, you know. He, if I had to choose, you know, a dog that's good looking or not. You know, he's like the balance of everything. You know, he looks good and he's got really good temperament. Really, you know, a, a, a dog owner pleaser and loves to play with balls. And he will play with balls nonstop, literally. Like, he will literally pass out and die playing with balls. You know, that's how addicted he is. And all his kids love balls, too. And really good, really intelligent dog. And, uh, yeah, just, this, he's crazy, man. <laughs> Look at him jumping. <laughs> he missed, but, hey, you know. He's, he's dashing though, so alright guys, so you guys so much for uh watching for Toxic. I'm I'm gonna get on with my nut my next stud, which is Roach. Alright guys. Alright guys, so yeah, now we're just gonna go on to my next son, which is actually Roach. Uh actually my new addition to the family, and dude, he is badass. I love him so much. Like he's so fucking cute. And he's so fat. Like, even though he's not as muscular as my other son, Toxic. You know, the, the, he, he makes up for that fatness, that fat gene, you know, he's got. And guys, you know, there's so many different types of looks that people like, you know, more of the fat look or more of the muscular, lean physique look. And I like both. I honestly do like both. And um, I haven't crossed these guys together yet because I don't know if it's going to be good or not. You know, I like to just keep it within themselves. But um, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Um Hella badass, man. I, lo I love Roach. And you guys can see, man, you know, he's just chilling with me. I love Roach. You know, he's really cute. And um, the thing I, I you know, the, the thing that I don't like about him compared to Tox is that he sometimes, he's really stubborn. You know, when I kennel him up or anything like that, he re he goes in really slow. He just creeps into his cage like, ah, oh, fuck you, man. I don't want to go to my cage, but I guess, you know. But Tox, on the other hand, he just goes straight in because he knows like he's gonna get that ass whooping, you know. So, but Roach, really good, loving, you know, caring dog, you know. A owner pleaser as well. He's not a dog that was Snoopy Brown. He will literally just chill, you know. He he will literally just chill with you, and uh, he loves water. That's the thing. Uh, that's the only thing I love. That's one thing that I love about him too. He loves fucking water. Like he will literally jump out to go to the lake, and all of his kids they actually show up to really love water. It's it's insane, you know. I, Tox, he hates the fucking water. Even with the life jacket, Tox just wants to get out of the water. But Roach, on the other hand, you know, his temperament, oh, you know, you know, they're both pros and cons with each of them. But with him, I actually really just had to uh, tone down his feeding. So this is actually, it's not even his prime look. With him being a year old already, it's not even in his prime look. Um, he's still, like, boxing out, you know what I mean? And him looking at, like, this at this age, 
holy shit, you know, I just can't wait till it hits three, four years, man, when he really starts to fucking feel in, you know, cheekbones are out, he's really mature, you know, he's like, what's up, bitches, you know, it's, that, you know, Roach, he's not even in his prime, you know, he, you know, it's like Super Saiyan, he, he's not even in his prime yet, so, Roach is not even, you know, not in his best, like, peak performance yet, so, Roach, I love Roach, you guys. You know, he will be a perfect addition to you, to your bitch, to your female, to breed if you do carry color. Or if you want the fat look, then yeah, you can breed for him. You know, he carries try. Uh, he looks, well, he looks try. So his, his, his physical characteristics, his phenotype is try, you know, black and tan points. Uh, he, do, he is a carrier of blue. So if you do have a blue bitch, it's good to have a blue. You know, you could breed them together. You can get a blue. You got a quarter chance to come out with blue. Or, you know, you want carriers of try. You can get try too. He does not carry chocolate, but that's pretty much it, you know. But mainly, you guys, I mainly breed for just pedigree. Uh, pedigree matters to me more importantly, you know, temperament and physical characteristics. Um, you know, I'd rather care for that over fucking colors. You know, fuck colors. I don't give shit. If the dog's fucking, you know, ugly ass shitty ass brown i don't give a fuck if he's buff i love him. you know that's that's my type of dog you know and, and not to diss you know it's skinny dogs you know guys i i used to raise skinny dogs too man you know uh i'm i'm doing a breeding right now with uh a stud service and i like skinny bitches too you know they look good too but with me personally within my yard my vision I like, you know, the short midget oompa loompas and shit. You know, that's that's just the way I wrote. You know, I'm short, I'm a midget. You know, I'm only like what five six. You know, five six is pretty short. I don't know. Is that short? So that's just me. I'm I'm a short dude, you know. Got some gains on. I'm I'm getting the gains back in, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it, you know, for my two studs. Hopefully, uh, I sold you guys, you know, if you guys do have a female coming in heat or you wanna get to breeding with me and you're doing some lock-ins. You guys won't be disappointed, man. You know, temperament. Temperament matters a lot, man, when it comes with breeding. You know, you don't want to just breed to a nice-ass stud and, you know, he's got a shitty-ass temperament, you guys. You know, people don't tell you guys this shit, you know? When you breed dogs, when you breed dogs, you know, temperament, the influence on the temperament of the dog from the puppies, it comes from the parents, you guys. It really does come from the parents. And I stress, you know, our mental aspect of anything you know humans dogs it matters a lot you know i our mental health is two times more important than our physical health that's pretty much what i'm trying to sell you guys on i love you guys so much that is my vision love you guys so much i love these dogs man and i'm i am proud to show you guys to tell you guys that hey you want to get in my program you want to get into my blood my dogs you guys won't be disappointed hopefully you guys love that content hopefully i you know i teach you guys just a little bit about dogs and dog breeding and about my studs. Love you guys so much. Finally posting these guys on YouTube. Peace out, y'all. Peace.